Good morning, everybody. And today is April the 28th. I hope everybody can hear me okay and uh, loud and clear, whether you're driving or whatever you're doing this morning. So welcome to the day. So April the 28th, April is nearly over, almost into May. So where are we? Where are you? Where are you at with your, with your goals? Where are we at with um, protecting people? We had a wonderful group last week uh, here on Friday. Had a super time. Some of y'all are on the line here. And I uh, really want to thank y'all for coming down. It's always just really cool to, to, uh, to see everybody and, and know that everybody's a real person. And really just kind of get in a room and get to know each other. And, and because it can be a lonely world out there by yourself. So thank you all for coming down. And I challenge those of y'all that are on the line here that, that, uh, that haven't made it down here yet. Uh, we'll be having another one in middle to late May. And I think you would uh, really like it. So hopefully you can hear me this morning. Type yes in your box. Okay, Lorda, thank you so much for doing that. And today I want to, to, to dive into, you know, and clear the air on something here because I get agents that are always asking me, you know, hey, do y'all have a web app? Hey, do we have a, a telesales app? And I want to just kind of clear that out, you know, and, and, and let you know, uh, you know, what we have. So for brand new people, just a kind of an overview, this is my training website. I know we've got a few people that are brand new as of just pointed yesterday and the day before. But write this down, finalexpenselife.us, uh, finalexpenselife.us. And as you all well know, this is where I put tools. This is my weekly recorded trainings. Uh, you can click right there and go into my training uh, uh, YouTube. And so I've got videos in there all the way from A to Z, uh, multiple videos, videos on how to do things. And there's some how-to videos that I record every week. So jump in there, jump in there if you have some extra training time and want to learn some some more how to. I'm going to be order. I mean, I'm going to be putting and uploading about five more short clips here in this how to. So, for example, if you want to know how to upload a paper application uh, into the portal with your phone, you click right here and there'll be a short little how to video. All right. So for brand new people that don't know me. My name is Keelan Johnson. I am the market sales director for five states, uh, but mainly in Texas. So I do Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Kansas, and Colorado. And then any of the downlines, uh, some of y'all may be in the downline that you may be out of Texas somewhere, which is perfectly fine. But um, I've been in the insurance business for 22 years and uh, all the way from a property and casualty agents to a business consultant to a district manager. And, and now here with Security National Life since 2016. So since 2016. And so uh, I'm super passionate, super excited about what I do. I love helping agents protect families. And also I get to get out every once in a while and protect some families uh, as well. So I'm going to kind of focus today on one topic, but spend some time if you're brand new, spend some time in here playing around, especially in this tools for you area. Uh, if you find a tool that you like, you know, it's kind of like a toolbox, get it out and play with it and, and use it. So we've got a medications list, height and weight charts, rate books. And also if you're brand new and you need some assistance on personal, you know, uh, individual stuff to, to work on, let me know and we'll be, we'll do a one-on-one -on -one and one-on-one. -on -one. Again, to rehash, you know, we are, we have two ways to sell policies. We can sell it in person. Uh, which is what we talk about a paper application and that's what we talked about last week or the week before you gather your application uh, complete your application and go right here to the upload button right here to the upload button and send it straight to the company whether you upload it through a scanner or whether you upload it through your phone you just need to go in there and upload that uh, that uh, application and go there today what i want to talk about is, is the web app now this is an application to where no matter if you're with the customer or you're in another town from the customer, if you look at this right here, we can protect people from anywhere with the web app. So you just make, we just got to make sure if you're, if you're licensed in Texas, you can write somebody in Texas over the phone. If you're licensed in Louisiana, you can write somebody over the phone in Louisiana. Okay. If you're licensed in K 
California. You can write somebody over the phone as long as you're licensed in California. Okay, so when you see web app right here, this doesn't mean that that um, you just you're typing it. You know, it doesn't mean you can only use this for a situation to where you're with a client and you have a computer in your hand, which you can. But a web app main, mainly means is that the information is going to go into the computer, whether you're on the phone with a person or you're live with a person. Either way, either way, what you're doing on a web app, if you see over here on the portal, is you're entering it into the computer. But I want you to know you don't have to be with the person. Again, you can be 100 miles away, 200 miles away, and take care of it. It's really simple. Call the person up, complete the web application, call the company for phone authorization, the phone authorization, you call the company on a three-way phone authorization, and then you're over with. And that phone call literally takes about five minutes, okay? So it literally takes about five minutes. So we can protect people from anywhere. You can protect them from your home, protect them on the road, you know, well, you wouldn't be able to type, but protect them from anywhere. But we have to get that phone verification, phone authorization done. That's the only thing you have to do. Okay, so I just want to simplify it down and I want to go through a web application with you and show you how easy it is to, to do. Okay, so we're going to go in here to a web application here and uh, I'm just going to click right here into the web application. Okay, web application. We've got a good group today. Well, we've got 18 people. Wonderful. So if you look right here, we're going into the web application. Okay, so here's our web application. It's very simple. I'm going to do a web application on myself. Okay, so I'm going to pretend like I'm talking to myself uh, into, into the web application. So I would say, uh, you know, sit down with myself or sit down and say, hey, Mr. Johnson, you know, thank you for visiting with us today. I'm just going to gather a little bit of information here and then we'll be on our way. Is that okay? Sure it is. Sure it is. Okay. So I'm going to agree to the, basically what says up right here is that you agree that this is your information, okay? You've meet with the people over the phone and you're talking to them. So you both agree that, that is, this is the information. So Mr. Johnson, what's your name? My name is Keelan. So I'm gonna put my name right here. The in, this is the insured's name. D, you can put initial if you want to and put your last name, okay? Date of birth, what's your date of birth, Mr. Johnson, okay? And you know what I like to do also as I'm typing this into the computer, as I'm typing this into the computer, I like to also have a scratch sheet of paper to the side. And what I'll do is I maybe write that information that I'm typing in over to the right, because if something goes wrong, and I want you to know too, on the web application, this is a trusted site, it's secure. So you see up here in the secure site, it is secure. And by the way, if you have anything um, over here in the chat box, go ahead and type it here, you know, if you have it in there. And uh, that way we, um, we know if you have a question. Okay, so if you have a question, you can type it into the chat box over here. All right, so I'll be checking that periodically going back and forth. But the secure site here, the web application is secure. So if you start typing in somebody's information and you go and get a Coke or go get, you know, get lunch or whatever, it can time out. It will time out on you and you have to start over again. That's to protect the client's information. That's so that you protect the client's information, okay? But if I'm going forward, basically, I just go in here and say, okay, here's my information. What state did we sign it in? So if you're licensed in another state, you just need to know where the client is, what state they're in, okay? So it's in Texas, okay? So we're going to enter a zip code here. And uh, I got my number lock on. One second. Try that again. 78633. Okay, and your social. We do have to have the social. Again, if you have only an I-10 number or a TIN number, that's where you can put it here. Okay, gender, male, okay, six foot five, okay, 225. Now, this is also where you need to check your height and weight chart because remember, the web application is only for our simple security plan, okay? So web application is only for this one, simple security plan. Okay, so what does it show here? Ages 40 to 90, okay, so ages 40 to 90. Also, you need to know 
that on the height and weight chart here. Okay, so height and weight chart. So 6.5 can be up to 3.29 for preferred and standard, and 6.5 right here can go up to 3.48 for our modified. So what happens here if I go through this web application and I put this 3.48, what if I put in 360 pounds here and my desired coverage is 15,000? What does it do? No products are available because of the height and the weight because of the height and weight. And then it's gonna make me come in here and start back over and redo it because of the height and weight, okay? So be familiar with your height and weight chart so that, because if you're overweight and you're too, too heavy for this simple security plan, then you have to do a paper application. Then you will have to go into our security care plan, which is a second one and Write that one because look at the height and weight there. That's six five. I can go up to four hundred and twenty three pounds. Okay, so just be familiar when you're starting a web application. Remember the web app is for write this note down is for simple security plan only. Okay, simple. All right, I'm gonna type this in and get this going. And again, as you get used to this, and here's what I suggest you do. I'm gonna give you a little homework assignment. Go in after this and practice on yourself. Matter of fact, if you want to write a policy on yourself, you get full commissions for it and you can do it right here on the application and then you'll call the company. It'll be good practice for you. Plus you have a policy. It's almost like make it, making money every month. You get a policy on yourself. Plus if you're brand new and, and you want to you write a policy within your first 14 days, you get uh, a um, $250 worth of lead credit and a shirt. So be sure if you're brand new that you get that done because it's very important that you get that shirt in the $250. If you have any questions about it afterwards, you know, let me know. Okay. So yes, Jose Ramirez asked, so on paper application, the client must be present. That's correct. Okay. So on paper application, on paper application, the client has to be present. Okay. That's for sure on that one. Now, if it's on, um, if it's on web application, they can be in a, another town. They can be on another town if it's on the other application. All right. So going back to here. So I just entered my social security numbers in here. Okay. All right. So another good number. I'm going to do this one. We got um, mail again, 65225 desired coverage, and we hit continue. Okay. Perfect. It's going to let me go. Okay. Go into the next screen. So again, you'll see over here to the right, you've got these little areas where you can skip to th certain areas, skip to certain areas. You've got the insured, the owner, the payor, the beneficiary, the medical questions, medications, payment, billing, replacement agreement. We're all, we're gonna go down through that, okay? And, and look at each section. Okay, so, so the insured's information, basically one, two, three, Main Street, just put in their information wherever they are. Uh, whatever their address is, uh, that is going to be Georgetown. A little different, that's okay. TX, Texas. And then what state was the person born in? So this really won't affect the way you write the application, but this is just what state were they, uh, were they born in, okay? And um, so I'm going to put uh, Texas. And then also, if it's outside the United States, you can put outside the U.S., okay? Just what state were they born in? Phone number. Okay, put your phone number in there. Now, email address. You don't have to have an email address in here, okay? And if they don't have one, just put none at none.com. But if they, want to, if they want to communicate with the company through an email address as an insured, then that's where they would need to put it. Okay, so what if the owner, which we find it a lot, let's make sure to see if the owner, okay, if the owner is the same person as the insured, if the owner is the same person as the insured, then we're going to toggle over and just toggle that switch and it will fill it out for you. So be sure you don't have to fill it out two times. You just toggle it over and it will fill it out. If there is a different owner, now remember with our policies, you the insured can be a separate person, the owner can be a. I can own, you know, Joe's policy. 
I can own Lloyd's policy. Uh, they can own mine as long as we both agree to it. Okay, as long as we're both on the phone and both agree to it. Okay, that's what's important. So in this case, I'm just for purposes of time, I'm just going to say I am the owner. Keelan is the owner. The same thing goes with the payor. It can be a different person also. So say a son or daughter is paying for the mother or vice versa, then the payor can be different on this. Okay, so the payor's information can be different. So we'll need to toggle that back over. But on this one, I'm going to put the same person. A lot of times the insured is the own is their own payor. Okay, so they are the own payor. Beneficiaries. This is pretty self-explanatory, but you can put uh, you know, beneficiaries here uh, and contingent beneficiaries. So one, two, three, main and phone numbers and email addresses if there are any email addresses. Okay. So Mr. and Mrs. Jones, who is your beneficiary? Do you want one or two? What is the relationship here? Children, spouse, parent, sibling, niece, domestic partner, or other. Okay, so I'm just going to put children. So here's your primary beneficiary. For those of y'all that are brand new, basically what happens is, is that if I were to pass away, my primary beneficiary or my primary beneficiaries would split the proceeds of the of the life insurance. Okay, so if it's twenty thousand dollars, each one would get ten. If there's only one, then that one would get the twenty thousand dollars. Okay, you can put as many as you want. You can split it three ways, and you just hit save. And once you hit save, it'll go right here. Okay, let's look at the medical questions. Okay, so tobacco, yes or no, within the past twelve months, they're all toggled to yes. So you need to push them over to no. Now, again, for brand new people, we're looking for all no's all the way down. We're looking for all no's. And with all no's all the way down, then we can have a preferred policy. Okay. With all no's all the way down, we can have a preferred policy. Let's look at this. This is section one is going to be our knockout section. So this is going to constitute if we're in this section and we get any yeses, then we are knocked out of this policy and we have to revert back to what we call an MIV plan. And I can go over that with you too. So Mr. Johnson, let me summarize this. You can read these out loud, each one of y'all on your own. But basically what I'm going to tell you is that are you now or in the past 30 days, have you been treated or admitted in a hospital, nursing home, healthcare facility, long-term care facility, hospice care, or been advised by a licensed medical profession to be confined to a bed. Mr. Jones, Mr. Johnson, uh, have you been in the hospital overnight or nursing home in the last 30 days? Have you stayed overnight? Yes or no, in the last 30 days. If they have, they were in the hospital last week, we gotta wait till they've been out for at least 30 days, okay? We gotta wait till they've been out. Number two, in the last 30 days, have you had a seizure? Now, what you'll find for brand new people in section three, we do cover people people that uh, have seizures, okay? We will write them into a modified, okay? We will write them into a modified if they have seizures. Those are my buttons here. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, so, but if, if they've had one in the last 30 days, we have to wait till they've had, a, then they have to be seizure free for 30 days, okay? Do you need assistance? Dressing, eating, personal hygiene, transferring to and from a bed. Do you need assistance? No, Keelan, I'm good. No, I'm good. Okay, perfect. Mr. Johnson, in the last 90 days, have you been treated for internal cancer? No, I'm good. Okay, perfect. Mr. Johnson, in the last, in the last 90 days, or have you ever been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, dementia, ALS, sickle cell anemia, hepatitis C, cirrhosis of the liver, or cystic fibrosis, okay? No, I'm good. We find a lot in this section sometimes, we do find the Alzheimer's and dementia. And if you write this down, write this down, there's a, there's a you know, a, when we get Alzheimer's and dementia, there's some drugs called memetine, um, especially in the 80 year old people, late 70s, early 80s, or in the 80s, um, then we have to kick it over to our MIB plan, MIB plan. And in some cultures, we get hepatitis C. So just kind of be aware of those. Those are going to be knocked out over to our MIB. Uh, are you receiving dialysis? Now, 
If you look down here also in our modified plan, we do write people with liver disease and, okay, and kidney disease, but we just wanna know, are they on dialysis right now? Okay, are they on dialysis? That's the main question, you know? And then this is our HIV question, okay? HIV question right here, no. So I got all no's there, so cool. I get, to, I get a plan, I can go through, I can keep going, okay? I can keep going. Now, at the very end, the policy is going to be rated based upon these questions, okay? So based upon these questions, the policy will be rated. So that's how we get the final rate um, and if we qualify for preferred standard or, or modify. Section two, if you write this down, section two is all about our standard plan. So it's all about our standard plan. So section two is standard, which means basically on standard, uh, is that we are looking for people that are diabetic in here. And if they are diabetic, you know, we've put insulin right here. And then how many units per day are you taking? How many units a day are you taking? So as long as, as long as section two, as long as this is under 100 units, we're good to go. Because what you're going to find too down here is in, in this question here is that do they take more than 100 units? So here's our, here's our, for brand new people, here's our diabetic kind of breakdown. If you're just taking pills for diabetes, no problem, preferred, because there were no question asked about pills. If you're taking insulin and it's less than 100 units a day, less than 100 units a day, then we're going to be standard. Okay, so section two is where our standard. Again, what we're looking for here is, um, let me jump here. I'm not jumping. I don't want to make you dizzy, but when you look at this right here, these are our three levels preferred, which is day one coverage. So we're looking for all no's on the application. Everything is clean. Good. Awesome. Standard. Okay. The only thing we have in standard, remember, is insulin diabetics under 100 units and then our modified. So section three is our modified, which means if they, if they qualify here, then basically if anything were to happen to them in the first two years, the beneficiary would get all of the money back, all the premiums, plus we would pay them an extra 10%. Now, if the client dies in an accident, we absolutely, of course, will pay the full, uh, full face amount. Okay, that's just if they die of natural causes, okay, from natural causes. So just kind of be aware of that. Also look and be aware if you're in the rate book for brand new people of our age groups here. Uh, you can see this right here on the age groups. And um, so some people get kind of confused about that, but we can go up to age 90. They've got to be preferred or standard here. Okay. They got to be preferred or standard, which means they got to be pretty healthy, but we can go up to age 90. Okay. And then we can go up to 35,000 for our preferreds up to age 75. So just know where that's at uh, in, in my training website. It's right there underneath the rate book. Back to the web app. No, Keelan, I'm not on any insulin. Good, good. Let's go to section three. Now, if we get any yeses in here, if we get any yeses here in section three, then we're going to have a modified plan. We're going to have a modified plan. Okay, so we're looking for all no's all the way down. The good news is, is that you can have three yeses. You can have three yeses and still get a modified. So you can have three yeses and still get a modified plan. I'm checking any of my, in my questions. Okay. Three yeses and still get them. So here's my questions and read this closely within the past two years has the proposed insured has the proposed insured. Okay. Been diagnosed, tested positive for treated prescribed medicine or been given medical advice for any of the conditions. So let me shorten this up in the past two years has a proposed been prescribed medicine. So why are you pointing that out, Keelan? Because of this, sometimes people have had heart problems eight or nine years ago, okay? And that's okay, but they still might be on blood thinners. So they might still be on blood thinners, okay? So if that's a case in point, then this would be a yes over here if they still are, still are on blood thinners, okay? One, one thing on blood thinners while we're in that, if you go over here, just if you're taking notes, and you go to the tools, 
if you go down here to the medications list, right in the middle of the medications list and you open this up, just be aware that on the last page of the medications list, which shows you all your medicines, there is a special part just for blood thinners, okay? So take a look at this. And basically the way this reads is that if you're taking any of these blood thinners right here, um, and if the qualifying event was more than two years ago with no other elements, and if the people are not on insulin, okay, then we can go preferred. Then we can go preferred, okay? Preferred with day one coverage. If they're on these types of blood thinners, that will always be modified, okay? Coumadin, uh, Pradaxa, Warfarin, or Xarelta. So if you get someone with heart conditions and you get into the application right here and they say, yeah, I'm on blood thinners, just need to go over here and go, okay, which kind of blood thinners are you on? Uh, and then it should be all in good shape, okay? You should be in good shape there. Sorry, I'm jumping around just a little bit here. All right. So we're in section two, uh, section three, and we're asking these questions. Mr. Johnson, do you have anything wrong with your heart? And he said, how's your heart working? How's it treating you? Okay. No, I'm good, Keelan. Okay, perfect. Do you have any internal tumors or cancers? Now, look at this. This is interesting. If you've been cancer-free for 90 days, so let's say I had cancer. Uh, let's just say I had, uh, I don't know. Yeah, cancer. Let's see any kind of cancer right here. And then... When were you cancer free? Oh, I just got cancer free, uh, you know, last July. Then we can get a modified plan. So remember back here, do you have any, in the last 90 days, have you been diagnosed? Well, if they've been cancer free for 90 days, we can go over here and write them a modified plan. If they've been cancer free for two years, we can check no on that. And we can go straight over to the preferred plan. Okay, so be thinking about the cancer, internal cancers. Current is the decline, uh, cancer-free 90 days. It goes over to this modified section, cancer-free for two years, preferred. Okay, here we're talking about your noggin, your brain, okay? In the last two years, anything wrong with your brain? Back to the heart, any other heart problems you may have, has circulatory disorders, congestive heart failure, anything like that? Nope, I'm good. Lung disease, emphysema, this is all about your breathing, smoking, breathing. Okay. Kidney diseases, liver diseases, hepatitis B. Okay. Remember hep C right now is a decline. Hepatitis C is a decline, but hepatitis B can be modified. Can be modified. Nope. I'm good. Diabetes. Okay. One thing to watch about on diabetes, if they're, if they're diabetic um, and they take a drug called gabapentin, G-A-B-A pentin, gabapentin. Okay. So if they take a drug called gabapentin, then you're going to be have neuropathy and then that's going to be a yes here. Or if they're taking more than a hundred units of insulin per day. Okay. Nope. I'm good. Parkinson's disease, par paralysis, uh, multiple sclerosis, lupus, Down syndrome. In this one, you know, we get some people that ha are on seizure medicines. Um, that's going to be a modified. And remember, as long as they haven't had a seizure in the last, uh, last 30 days, we're good shape. Uh, sometimes we get some downs in here. Just know this. If you get some down syndrome client, call me and let's talk about it because the company wants to make sure that the client, the insured is, is uh, able to understand the policy because when in the business that we're in, sometimes there are going to be some fraudulent policies written on people that don't know they're getting policies. And then there we are. So we need to make sure that the insured I uh, can understand the, understand the policy. Okay. So let's keep going here. Paranoia, schizophrenia, major depressive disorder, suicide attempts and mental disorders. Nope. I'm good. Nope. I'm good. All right. We're getting close to the end. Have you been advised to have a surgery that you have not had yet? Okay. Have you been advised to have a surgery that you have not had yet? Nope. Have you received medical treatment for drug abuse? Or alcohol abuse. Okay. Have you been in a, in a facility? Yes or no. Now we don't check any, we don't check any criminal background on our policies, but this is just the one question. Have you been in a facility? Uh, have you needed help in a facility? Okay. So that's the question. And then the last one, do you use medical appliances such as wheelchair walker or oxygen? Nope. Now we, we are one of the few companies that will take somebody on a modified plan, even if they're on oxygen. Okay. So that's pretty good. So just be aware of that. 
Great. We're all nose. We're rocking and rolling. We're going on to the next, next section. Let's add a medication in here. Okay. So be sure you, 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 when you look at your medications guide right here. I don't know if you're on a computer or whatever, but if you get on a computer here, you can actually, if I can find it here, uh, so do a search and you can search for uh, medications. So if I search, if I get my search over here to the left and some iPhones will let you do this, I put an M load of ping. I'm low to ping. Look at there. It comes right up and it's highlighted and I can type it in. Okay. So I'm low to ping. So I just put, you know, that is a blood pressure pill. Okay. How many years have I been taking it? What is the reason? What is my dosage? 20 milligram. How many times a day? One day. Okay. And that's all you need. If it's an as needed. Now, some people ask this, hey, they're on high blood pressure pills or high, you know, or cholesterol. And I say, okay, so the, it does not correlate to anything. Do I have to write it down? Yes, you need to write down every medicine that they're on, okay? Every medicine they're on, uh, as long as it's a prescription. You don't have to put in Advil or vitamins or whatever, as long as it is. Primary physician is not required. You do not have to have the primary physician's name in here. The only time we would use that is if the person died within the first two years. And if they passed away in the first two years, then uh, we would go back in and look for the medical records to make sure there's no underlying conditions. But that's with every policy. There's a two year, two year contingent period where they can look back if you pass away in the first. Doesn't mean we're not going to pay it. Doesn't mean we're not going to pay it. You know, most of the time we do pay it. They just have the right to go back and look to see if, oh, did somebody fib about their heart condition uh, when they already had one, obviously going forward. After two years, there is no contingent period. It's just automatic, so we're good to go. But you don't have to put that in there. Payment information. Very important that we get this correct. Okay, very important that we get this correct. So you're going to put in the bank a name. You got to put in the address, one, two, three. And, you know, look it up on your phone if you can. A lot of times people can't remember it. Make sure we're trying to get the routing number and account number. You can toggle over here to credit card and get credit card or direct express card or debit card, but try to get the banking and routing information. It's very crucial in the business because it stays on the books a lot longer. It stays on the books a lot longer. And yeah, account number just, and sometimes they don't have their account number. So you may have to help them. They may have to call the bank. may have to find a checking statement, whatever it may be. And then you can, you can easily find your routing number. It's all public information. So you can type it in, you can Google it, uh, whatever you want to, and you can find the routing number of the bank that they're using. All right, so I'm doing monthly verified, $15,000, and I'm good to go. Writers, here's the writer section. For brand new people, if I'm writing a $15,000 policy, I can have 15,000 in accidental death which actually increases my policy to $30,000 if I were to be in an accident, 30,000 if I'm in an accident, okay? Now you have competitors out there that are selling this, at, you know, and they're selling it like this. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, we've got a $30,000 policy here. If you die of natural causes, you get 15, but if you die in an accident, you're at 30,000. So they're presenting it like $30,000, which is true if they were to die in an accident, but it's not the, the natural, the natural way is, is 15,000, but you can add that too. You can go up to $25,000 if you want this, want to. Child rider, I can add children in here. Now, right, if you're writing this down, children can be written on the policy up to, up to age 18, and then they fall off at age 25. So if I'm writing children on there, I can, you know, I'll have put, put the face amount in here and then I'll add the child's name, okay, on there. So again, up to age 18 and they fall off at 25, okay? So I'm gonna take no there. So billing option, very important here. We have two ways to ask this question. Mr. Johnson, Keelan, do you want your policy draft? Today is the 28th of April. Do you want your policy drafted today when it goes into place? Yes, I want it to go effective immediately. Okay, toggle that to yes. Mr. Johnson, going forward, uh, do, what day do you want this policy drafted? Mr. Johnson, are you receiving social security benefits? Yes, all right, perfect. Then you normally get paid your money on the second, 
third or fourth Wednesday of the month. Which one would you prefer? The fourth Wednesday, that's when I get paid. The third Wednesday, that's when I get paid. The second Wednesday, when I get paid, okay? If they don't receive this, then they're going to go in here and pick a date, okay? Uh, let's say I want my drafted on the 12th. Now, let's look at this closely here. Let's dissect this. Today is April the 28th. I'm going to do draft immediately, correct? So I'm going to draft immediately now. May the 12th comes is going to come around 14 days from now, 15 days from now, okay? That's going to be less than 30 days. So we actually won't bill Keelan on May the 12th. We will have to wait till June the 12th. So we will never bill twice. Now, if I don't have the money now, here's another scenario. You might run across this in the field too. People say, well, I don't have the money now. That's okay. We don't have to draft anything now. We'll send the policy in. We'll get it approved, and then we'll wait to bill you on the 5th of May. I mean, on the 12th, okay? So don't ever let somebody say, well, I don't have the money, because that's okay. We can still write the policy and post date it to up to 30 days in the future for when it starts, okay? So when it starts. Replacement question. I rarely replace any policies. If you do, you can do yes here, and then you have to answer these questions. Are you, are you going to discontinue? I just normally put no because I tell people, hey, listen, if we're going to um, write this policy, let's make sure it goes through. Let's make sure it goes through all the way. And then at that point in time, if you want to drop it and you want to do something with it, you can. Okay. This is your agent statement. Is the proposed insured a family member? Yes or no? If you're writing yourself, writing your spouse, writing your kids, it would be a yes here. You still will get paid full commission on your own policy. That's why I encourage everybody to write their own policy because it's free the first year because you're getting your own commissions back every month that your that your premium you're in and you're getting commissions back and you've got a policy to show for it where you can show your clients yes I'm a I'm a policy owner too I have a policy also okay so does my wife or my husband or whoever uh, and then this is how you sign it I Keelan Johnson I Keelan Johnson I Keelan Johnson and I type in my signature here. You can split commissions with another agent if you'd like. Uh, you have another agent in you know, mind that y'all worked on this policy together. And then the client is just basically authorizing us to pull the prescriptions. So what city was this done in? Okay, Georgetown, Texas. Georgetown, Texas. And that's how the insured does that. Okay, so let's see if I got everything right. I'm going to hit submit. And you can play along with this too. You're going to practice today or whatever. It won't go through until the next page. You hit submit. And it's going to think, oh, look. So based upon the information that I put in there, so based upon the yes and no questions, based upon yes and no questions, then I qualify for the preferred plan. And once again, I double check my banking information here. And then I go in and my premium is right here. Now, let's say you get to this point and they say, no, it's too much. Or no, can we add on to it? Yeah, you can change it. You can change it right here before you even submit it. You can calculate the premium and you can increase it to $55.88. I've still got my accidental death benefit rider here and everything else. Okay. And then any additional information you want to tell the underwriters, hey, they're on blood thinners but uh, it's Plavix, so we're in good shape. Or hey, they take gabapentin, but gabapentin is only for nerve pain. Anything you wanna tell the underwriters, you do it right here. And then you clearly hit, I accept right here, and you push it through to the company. At that point in time, you'll get a pop-up box, and it will say, I'm gonna mute everybody one second. Thank you, Aura. Thank you, Cherry. Um, so you'll get a pop-up box, which will say, hey, um, you need to call this number and do a phone authorization. So at that point in time, you're gonna go in here and call the home office, call home office right here and do a phone. It says verification here, but I'm gonna suggest everybody do a phone authorization with an A. So just remember that phone authorization with an A. And that is because it will go to underwriting. And I want everybody's policy to be able to go to underwriting because, you know, you do a phone verification on there, they're going to pull the medicines and they'll give you an instant decision right there. 
that's okay. If you have a clean application, and if you have a clean app right here and there's no problems with it and you want to do a phone verification and get it done right then and there, choose verification with a V. If you want it to go to underwriting, do phone authorization with an A, with an A, because here's the deal. In that case in point, if it comes up and they find more medicines or find a problem, then uh, you're going to have to cross that bridge and you're going to have to uh, either lower the face amount or talk to the people into uh, into accepting the policy. Okay. So from this point on, you hit accept and you're done. You're done. Okay. All the way through it. So again, web applications, sorry about that. Uh, so web applications right here, going over here to the portal. This is where you go. No matter if you're talking to the person face to face, you want to do it over the computer or if they're 200 miles away, we can do web application. Very easy process, very simple and secure to go through. I accept, I accept. And at that point in time, call the company and take care of the, the authorization. Three-way call. They're just going to ask the client, is this your height and weight? Um, have you had COVID lately? Do you live at this address? Is this your banking information? Yes, 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 yes. It takes about five minutes. Very short, very easy to do. Okay, very short, very easy to do. All right. So I just wanted to touch base today with you and let you know that there is, you know, right now we have, you know, two different ways, but I want you to know that the web application, if you want to write business over the phone, you want to write telesales, you want to write it over the phone, you want to write your niece, aunts, uncles, wherever, as long as there's a simple security plan, 300 miles away in another state, wherever you're at, we can do the web application. Of course, when you do the paper application with us, it is sit down with the people and you write it in person, take the paper application and you go to the portal and you upload it, okay? And you upload it there. So I just want everybody to be clear, the two ways, let's go see people in the house. Let's hug their necks, let's shake their hand. Let's do a paper application. Let's call them, okay? Call them on the phone. When you're calling leads or you're calling people say, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, I can do this either way you want to. I can come see you or we can do it over the phone. I can come see you or we can do it on the phone. So let the client be in charge of how that business, they want the business to go. You know, before the COVID, we were only an in-person company. And now we've branched out and now we can do things like this. So we're very excited about that. Okay. So I just want to touch base with you this morning and make sure you understand that. For everybody that's brand new here, uh, we'll get back on board with you and uh, go through the paper application, go through the presentations uh, watch some videos and then also let me know. We'll set up a time. Anybody on the line wants to set up an individual meeting with me where we can go through some more details, uh, information here for another one on one section or segment, let me know. I'm available um, most all the time. All right. So, hey, as I finish up today, y'all are going to hear me say this and I keep saying it and it's just what I do. So, sorry, you have to hear it. But People, you know, people's average age of, of mortality these days is 77. How many years left do people have left? Who knows? One year, two years, 20 years, 30 years, whatever it is. We have a great policy. We have a great coverage. And you're a great agent. And you know people. Are you going to be on the front pew hugging that neck of that family because you protected them? Are you going to be in the front pew and hugging them and saying and have them say, thank you for protecting me. Thank you for, for all you do. Or are you going to be on that back pew or maybe not even go to the funeral because you're afraid of what they say? You're afraid of what they're going to ask you. Did they have a policy? I don't know. No, I don't know. Okay. One year, two years, five years, 10 years will go by. How many families are you going to protect? How many families are you going to see? Okay. That's what, that's what keeps me up at night. And I want you to be successful. I want you to be successful in, in, in what you do. And uh, I want to be able to, to take you to the moon and back. Or if, you're, if your business is to write one a month or two a month, you know, I like to see a goal. You see my goals. I like for everybody to have a goal of at least two policies a month. That keeps your pen going. That keeps your mind fresh. That keeps family protected. Makes you some money. Uh, and you get used to using us. But we have agents that are writing 25, you know, a month. So however much you want to do. I'm here for you. Thank you for your time on this Thursday. I really, you know, I, I try not to keep you too much but I also want to give you a tidbit every Thursday or so that you can use. So thank you so much for joining today. Hope everybody has a great Thursday, finishes off this month. Go ahead and write your policy and get, get one in this month, and then we'll 
on April, May, May will rock and roll. So thank you for all you do. If you need anything, I am here for you. That's what I do. So thanks again for everybody being on the line here. And as always say in Texas, adios. <laughs>